Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about how we can uh, how we can work with square data set and also how you can pre-process this the data set. I'll put the description in the link uh, and the square data set is something which is called like the full form of square data set is Stanford question answering data set. It is actually a very much used or uh, like we can say it's a standard question answering data set which is used for uh, evaluating the model architecture and also the performance of different approaches and here you can see the leaderboard as well uh, here you can see human performance of the exact match and the f1 score where you know that f1 score is the uh, number of words that actually predicted uh, is matched with the words actually in the target and exact match is the score which is generated when the output is exactly predicted output is ex exactly same as the input that's how this thing works and uh, you can see uh, there are many many papers and here you can see some papers these papers are actually i mean these architectures these models are actually performing really really well such that it, it is even performing more than what we say the uh, human performance as well so what is this this is actually a data set which is a crowdsourced data set uh, in here you can see that so you can see that there are like this data set is created actually by the Stanford from the Wikipedia articles where a Wikipedia uh, the context is given where the context from the context from each sentence a question is generated and with the help of some crowd workers uh, they, they have to prepare a question and an answer uh, where the answer exact span of the answer should be inside this uh, I mean inside the context that's what how this quad data set is created and maintained and uh, there was before it was a squad 1.1 now it is actually modified um, uh, modified to a squad 2.0 to an another version and uh, uh, in some cases uh, there are there will be not there are no answers for the questions in that case the answer column will be blank there is uh, it, it is given as unanswerable questions and uh, and you can download the data set from here or here uh, as a json format and you can also they, they also provide an evaluation script where you can uh, actually uh, where you can evaluate your model architecture and maybe you could end up in getting a getting in the leader code as well and there is also given us uh, like there is submission tutorial for uh, how to do the evaluation and how to get into this, uh, Stanford question answering data set leaderboard and uh, today I'll go I'm going to show you how you can access or download the squad data set uh, via Python and also how you can pre-process this data set actually it is very simple you could download it from here and you could see print and everything uh, I just want to give you an introduction on how you can access this squad data set for another purpose other than other than this question answering so my idea was to uh, I'm actually on a research topic where I can build uh, question generation rather than question answering it is the exact opposite of what is question answering where we are giving in a uh, we are giving we are giving a context a sentence maybe an answer and the model has to generate a question i'm planning to do it in the with, with the help of uh, sequence to sequence model and also the torch text library which is which is very very awesome library and I, I just want to experience in that also that's why i thought of doing it so here we are going to start and i already written a script for it don't be afraid or something like that it's very simple actually here you can see uh, we are uh, calling some functions we are calling actually three functions for uh, train development and for preparing a csv out of what we want from the squad data set what does this do yeah let's see in the download data set let's see this is actually downloading some url uh, it's actually calling a function called download squad where uh, where you can see that where you can see uh, there is some path path is saved to a saved path uh, variable and also we are downloading some uh, we are downloading some data from a url using a url url request library so what is a url url is from this one so you can't search like this this is actually the same url which we were discussing before and it's actually 
uh, the, the URL should be containing. Uh, we, we are uh, joining the part with this. So the URL will result in a training and development data set and we'll be downloaded the data set from there. Let's let's download the data set. Let's uh, stop here for this for a while and let's see. Yeah. Yeah, the file is downloaded successfully. Even though it's a big data set, I could see, you can see that I could see it's, it, it, it is uh, done very much fastly. Yes. So here we downloaded the, uh, I mean, the training and development data set in a JSON format. So here I just wanted this data set to be a question and no, not to be a question answering data set. Instead, I just want to be a question generation data set where I already, like I already said, I just want this data set as uh, I'll show you hmm. as I, I just want the data set like to be a CSV with an answer with a question and with a sentence and a context. So here we do this right now. So what I did was I just concatenated the directory with a path and I also tried with a break statement. I tried to print uh, this line. Okay, where I tried to print the list paragraph with a break statement with a break statement down. So what does it give me as an output? It give me the output as like this. So I just know inside the data, inside the data dictionary, inside the paragraph ID, I, I just uh, with the with the different number of article, we are enumerating the article IDs. We could get the data like this with, with, with JSON format like this here. You can see a title, a paragraph. Inside this paragraph, you, uh, while going down, you can see. You can see. I mean, yeah, it's a long data set, I guess. You can see the context. You can see the context, and also in that context, it's also with the context. You can also see a QAS, which means question and answers. So, and for you can see each question also there id of each question and answers and where the index it starts in the sentence so the question is there the answer is there and uh, is impossible tag stands for where the question is available or not so what i did was i just uh, looped through each and every uh, uh, dictionary and i just needed i just configured with minimum length text and maximum length text and also different questions and answers and I just modified it in such a way that my output will be data set containing a data frame like this and if you want I'll show you uh, what 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 I got from before so I just added something called uh, I mean I just printed the df dot head and also the df dot shape and I got the data frame as such uh, it was a bit time taking process that's why I just skipped the video post the video for a few seconds and you could see I'll, I'll post the link and also the github repo with this video description and you can check there thank you for watching this video you can also subscribe this channel video because we are coming up with different NLP natural language processing artificial intelligence tutorials where you could learn like torch text something that is not um, like uh, there are not much tutorials for touch text and all so we are trying to provide tutorials for that also thank you thank you and have a nice day